Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. The person that's struggling with anxiety or addiction or stress or anything in your mind. Let me show you how easy it is to get over that with belief in Jesus and what he accomplished. It goes like this. Hey, how many of you used to believe that Santa Claus was real? Spoiler alert, I'm sorry for all of you that still believe that. Watch this, it's about to happen. So you know how you used to believe Santa was real and then you found out as you grew up, it was just a story that the culture around you told you was true, just kind of a fun thing for you to grow up in. Well, that's, that's how, and then you, you decided to not believe in it because you found out something else that was actually more true or was true, period. And the thing that you were told was not actually true. Here it comes. That's how easy it is to defeat the thoughts in your mind. It's as easy as going from understanding and hearing one bit of information to going and understanding Another bit of information, like Santa's real. Wait a minute, Santa's not real. That was a lie, all right? So, hey, you're not worth anything. Hold on, I used to believe that. Now I believe something else. Jesus said I was worth him dying. Mm -hmm. Jesus said that I'm a new creation if I believe in him and follow him and give my life to him. Mm-hmm, yep. Just change, just like that. Go on. So that's not to say that these ideas and thoughts won't cross your mind. They won't try to impress upon you that reality anymore because they definitely will. So the thing to recognize is that the devil, the demonic, it's never said that they have a kingdom it is that they have an influence. They are an influence. The word says that we were taken out of the dominion of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of the son of his love, which is the son that God loves, Jesus. We've been put into Jesus' kingdom. <clears throat> dominion has to do with influence and authority. And so what happened was at the fall, Adam... And Eve listened to a voice that was contrary to Yahweh's and proceeded to have consequences for their actions. And what you're dealing with right now is simply voices trying to get you to submit to them versus Yahweh's voice. And Yahweh's voice is much, much gentler and kinder. And it's often... Um, overridden in this natural realm, it seems like, because of all the chaos and disorder and just the volume of the enemy. But the truth is that God is firm. He is solid in who he is, and that's why he doesn't have to yell a whole lot. So, you are completely free, problem solved, if you believe in Jesus. If you don't believe in Jesus, check it out. Check him out. Believe it, man. Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice and a stranger's voice they won't follow. And so that's our daily our daily interaction right now is just a battle of voices. Because once you can submit to God, once you learn that the things that you're hearing aren't always your thoughts, you'll be much more free. <laughs> I heard I heard I heard that I was never supposed to be free until I died. I heard that from people, and I heard that in my head. Um, you know, it's not often that you are told you don't have to struggle. Let me be the first if I'm the first, and I hope I'm not the last. You don't have to struggle, friend. Uh, it is completely possible to live struggle-free in that aspect. Are there things you're going to have to overcome? Yep. 
but it's not going to be a fight for your life situation like that. It's going to be, do I believe God is good or not? So I was told I have to struggle in life because I'm human and one day I'll die and be free. And it's just not true. But if you believe that, you will. So start questioning some stuff you believe. Start questioning stuff you've been told by people you look up to. A lot of people have really good intentions. Um, and here's another thing. Good-hearted people with bad belief systems are the ones that struggle. Because in their heart they want to do good, but they don't know how to. Um, and those are usually the people that struggle with anxiety, depression, suicide, stuff like that. Because, because they can't bring themselves to do the other things that they're hearing the devil want them to do. So bad people, like bad hearted people with bad information, no problem. They'll just go do bad things. But good hearted people with bad information really struggle. And so a long time ago, the Holy Spirit or whoever told me, if Satan can't pimp you and get and use you for his purpose, he will try to take you out by making you think you're crazy or you're worthless and have you eliminate yourself. Okay? So your strongest natural instinct, your body's desire is to live. Your natural instinct is to fight for survival. Any creature that's backed into a corner, animal, human or not, that is working in a proper natural order will fight until they die, which is what some people are doing right now. But you don't have to just survive you're meant to thrive okay so if he can't get you to do what he wants you to do for evil he'll try to get you to take yourself out all right so don't fall for that junk it's just an influential voice trying to captivate your attention over over god <laughs> and it's completely your choice what you do but uh if, if i'm the first let me be the first to tell you, you have a choice. You have a role. You are not a slave to your mind. You have a choice in what you believe, and you can challenge any thoughts you hear. Okay? And then when you switch belief systems, it's harder to fall back into those old belief systems because you've tasted freedom, and freedom feels good. And you don't want to go back to the junk, so don't go back to the junk. <laughs> You will be free. You have a choice and you are not a slave to every thought that you hear. You're just not.